I'm going to show you how you can easily create your own AI generated animation. In a previous video, I showed you the basics of how to do this, and in this video, we're going to dive deeper into this topic. But before we get started, let's take a look at another animation I created using this method. Welcome back to the Dad and Son Show. In this episode, Ethan, the son, and his dad, Gary, are cleaning the garage. While cleaning they find an old lantern. Ethan rubs the dust off and a genie appears. The genie grants them three wishes, but oh boy, are they in for a treat. Wow, dad. Look, a genie and he is giving us three wishes. Son, these wishes are very precious. We have to think really careful before we make it. Give a. me a hedgehog. Hooray! Ethan, what have you done? Fuck this hedgehog. The Dad and Sun Show. See you next time. So, in my previous video, I showed you how you can create an AI generated animation using ChatGPT, Murph, and Adobe's free online animation tool. I also briefly demonstrated a few steps on how to use Canva and CapCut to bring everything together. In this video, I will provide a more detailed tutorial on using Canva and CapCut to create your animation. However, let me extremely quickly go through the steps again, because I have added something special for this video. Alright, so let's start with ChatGPT. Just like last time, I'm going to ask ChatGPT for a comedy style sketch between a father and son. However, I have to be honest, this time, I had to give it my own twist to really meet the standard that I liked. Next, I'm going to Murrah. In my last video, I received a lot of comments from people asking if I could use a free alternative. I tried a few, however, for this kind of comedy style sketch, the voices, and mostly the timing, are extremely important. Murif is the only tool I have found so far that really gives you enough control over the voices to make it the way I like. So, I simply copied and pasted the script into Murif and looked for a narrator voice, a voice for the son, and a voice for the dad. I went into more detail about this in my previous video, and I highly recommend watching that part. However, the most important parts are that you have the choice of over 120 voices in 20 languages. You can change the speed and pitch of the voices to make it slower or faster, and lower or higher pitched. And the most important part is that you can manually add pauses in the speech. I have put the link to this tool and all the other tools used in this video in the description so you can check them out for yourself. All right, next we have Adobe Express. This is a free AI powered animation generator. You can choose from a variety of different characters, change the background, and adjust the aspect ratio. What you want to do is set the background to green, and you'll see why later in the video. Here's how this tool works. You upload a voiceover you made with an AI text-to-speech tool or one that you recorded yourself and Adobe's AI will review it and automatically lip sync the speech and making the character move accordingly to the context of the voiceover. So you'll get something like this. Wow, dad. Look, a genie and he is giving us three wishes. All right, I'm going to do the same for the dad. Change the character and place it in the middle. Upload the voiceover and you are ready to download. As you may have noticed in the video, there was also a hedgehog. A great use of AI is to employ a text-to-image generator for these kinds of things. You have probably heard of Midjourney, and if you have a subscription, I highly recommend using that one. However, if you are looking for a great free alternative, Crayon, in my opinion, is very good. So, I instructed it to generate a cute hedgehog with big eyes seen from the side, also with a green background. You will probably have to play around with it a bit. However, the great part about this tool is that you have an unlimited number of generations. The only downside is that it isn't very fast. So once you find one you like, you select it, and then you can press up scale to improve the quality. After a few tries, I came up with this one. How cute. All right, now let's slow it down a bit. I'm going to show you more in depth how I'm making the scenes in Canva and then edit them in CapCut. So in the previous video, I showed you how I made the intro scene and the background for the middle part. 
I'm keeping the intro the same for this video. However, this time, the story takes place in the garage. So let's look for a brick wall and change the ground to a concrete like gray color. Let's add some shelves for storage and look for some basic items you would find in a garage, like a football. I noticed that if you put, for instance, a poster on the wall that you also see in a different scene like when you zoom in on the hand, it will bring the animation more to life. These small details really make a difference. I think the back wall is a bit too dark, just like my ex's soul. So I'm going to look for a different one. Now let's add some more random items you would find in a garage and maybe make the shelves a little larger. Canva has a lot of small animations you can use, like a genie coming out of a lantern. Let's flip it the other way around, and this scene is done. All right, the next scene is the magic finger snap from the genie. Let's look for a hand snapping its fingers. I'm going to copy our previous scene so I can use the same background with the poster. Unfortunately, I can't change the color of this hand so I'm going to have to use another one. Let's give it the same color as the genie. Now I'm going to make the three stripes that indicate the snap on a separate page. Let's copy the hand as a reference, so we know where to place the stripes. And let's make them a vibrant color. All right, delete the hand, and this is also done. Now, the last scene is going to be the zoom in on the hedgehog. Again, I'm using the background from the first scene. Because recycling is not just for saving the planet, but also for saving time and effort. Now enlarge it because we're now zoomed in on the hedgehog. For the hedgehog, I also need some separate shocked eyes to place over it, so it looks like it's seen things it can never unsee. So, I'm simply going to search for shocked eyes. Now, everything is ready to download. For everything with an animation, you want to download it as an MP4 file. All the still backgrounds can be downloaded as JPG or PNG files. And for the eyes, for instance, we want to download them without the white background. So, those you will have to download as PNG files and select the transparent background. Alright, now let's move over to CapCut. This is an extremely powerful and free editing tool. Import everything you have created. We're going to start with the intro using the same intro I created in my previous video. Now, as you can see, there's a continuous loop with the bird flying into the house. However, we don't want the bird to continuously fly into the house, but only once. So, I'm going to bring the timing bar to a place where the bird is not visible and select the freeze button. This will freeze that frame and create a separate clip. It's almost like CapCut takes a sort of screenshot. You can now make this clip as long as you want. All right, let's put the MP3 file of the intro voiceover under the video so we can determine where the bird should hit the house. The intro and outro are in the same file, so I'll have to cut it in two where the intro stops and the outro begins. You can do this by placing the timing bar in the right place and hitting the split button. Let's move the outro. Now, here is where I want the bird to hit the house. So, I'll hit the split button again to create a small pause in the intro. Now, let's drag the video where the bird hits the house, so that the bird hits the house exactly where we made the pause. And let's continue the intro right after the bird hits the house. Again, after the bird hits the house, we don't want it to repeat. So, I'm going to hit the freeze button and delete the remaining part of the bird video. Now, you want to drag the first freeze clip so that it connects to the clip of the bird. And let's shorten the second freeze clip. All right, now let's move on to the second scene. Here, we will have the son and dad looking at the lantern when the genie appears. For the first few seconds, we want the genie to stay in the lantern. So again, I'll set the timing bar at the point where the genie is still in the lantern and hit the freeze button. And I don't want the genie to immediately go back into the lantern. So I'll do the same when the genie is completely out of the lantern. Now, to keep things neatly organized, I'm going to combine these three parts back into one video. You can do this by selecting all three parts and selecting Create Compound Clip. As you can see, this is now one part again. And I'm going to do the same for the intro. Alright, for the intro, I want to have a subtle zoom in effect on the house. To do this, 
you need to go to the beginning of this clip and select it. Then go to the video tab in the top right corner and go to position and sizing under basic. Here, you're going to add a keyframe. Now, go to the end of this clip and zoom in the clip to your liking and add another keyframe. And as you can see, we now have a zoom in effect. You can use this for all kinds of moving elements, such as left to right, zooming, rotating, and almost everything you can imagine. All right, moving on. Let's place the clip of the sun here. To get rid of the background, you want to again go to the video tab in the top right corner and then go to cutout. Select chroma key and choose the color picker. Now, choose the green background color and set the strength to around 50%. It's as easy as that. Now, scale the video and place it in the right position. As you can see, the sun is starting to talk too early. You can use the freeze button again to extend it. However, for some reason, this doesn't work very well with the background removed. So, I'm going to cut out a piece where the sun is standing still and copy and paste it as many times as I need to fill in the part where the narrator ends and where the sun needs to start talking. And of course, I'm going to repeat the same steps for the dad. So, you want to do this for the rest of the video as well. Determine where the son or dad needs to start talking and either fill in the remaining parts by copy and pasting footage of the dad or son standing still or simply shorten the clips if they are too long. So you have something that looks like this. Again, to keep everything nice and organized, I'm going to create a compound clip for both of them. Perfect. Now, let's move on to the finger snap. Let's place this scene at the right time and put the yellow bars that indicate the snap over it. I'm going to shorten this scene a bit and I will split the clips of the father and son so I can continue them when the finger snap scene ends. All right, so after the snap, the hedgehog appears. Let's place the hedgehog right after the snap. I'm going to cut off the little crayon watermark and again, use the chroma key tool to get rid of the green background. And I want to face the backside of the hedgehog towards the son and dad. You know why. To do this, select the clip and go to edit and select mirror. Now, I want to give the hedgehog the effect of magically appearing. The easiest way is to go to the animation tab. Here, you have all kinds of animations you can use to start and end a clip. For the magical appearance, you want to use the fade in effect. Let's make the fade in effect a little longer by changing the duration. Now, I'm going to copy and paste the snap scene and place it after the hedgehog appears. For the close up of the hedgehog, I'm going to search for the background scene I made in Canva and place it together with the hedgehog in the timeline. Again, I'm going to get rid of the watermark and background, and I'm going to mirror the hedgehog so it faces the other way. Scale it to the right size and place the shocked eyes over the hedgehog. So, I forgot to show this in Canva, but I also made a drop of sweat. I simply did this the same way as the eyes. I searched for it in the elements section and downloaded it as a PNG file with a transparent background. So, I'm going to make it look like the drop of sweat slides down the hedgehog's face using the same method I used to zoom in on the house in the intro. Place the drop of sweat where you want it to start. Go to position and size and add a keyframe. Now, go to the place where you want this scene to end. Place the drop a little further down and again add a keyframe. Now, shorten this entire scene and this is also done. All right, now it's time to add a few sound effects. For instance, where the bird hits the house, set the timing bar to the exact place where the bird hits the house. Go to the audio tab in the top left corner and select sound effects. CapCut has an extensive library of free sound effects you can use. Let's look for something like a punch sound. Go to the fight category and find something you like. You will probably have to adjust it a little bit so the sound perfectly matches the timing of the bird hitting the house. I also have a fart sound that I'm going to add. Because, you know, farts are always funny. I'm also going to do this for the finger snaps and the appearance of the hedgehog. Look for a finger snap sound effect in the sound effects section and place it in the timeline. For the hedgehog's appearance, I'm simply searching for a magical appearance sound effect. We are almost done. 
Let's add a transition between the intro and the second scene. You can do this by going to the Transitions tab in the top left corner and dragging the desired transition to the point where these two scenes meet. Let's increase the duration a bit to make it smoother, and I'm going to give the dad and son a fade in animation so they also slowly appear. And in the middle of making this, I thought it would be funny to bleep out the curse word the dad says when the son wishes for a hedgehog. So I'm going to look for a bleep sound effect and place it in the timeline. I also made a censored cover in Canva, like the ones they sometimes use to blur mouths on TV when people curse. So I'm going to scale this and place it over the mouth at the same time as the bleep sound. Now, for the intro, I made all these elements in Canva for my previous video. I'm going to place the dad and son show text in the timeline at the same time where the voiceover says the words. I'll look for a fun animation so the text appears in an interesting way and I'll do the same for the yellow circle. Then, I'm going to copy and paste the video of the sun and shorten it, and I'll do the same for the dad. Let's mirror the sun, so it looks like he's facing his dad, and add an interesting animation. For all three elements, I'm going to use the fade out animation at the end. Now, add the soundtrack and lower the volume a bit so the voiceovers are audible. When the sun wishes for a hedgehog, I'm going to abruptly end the background music, and when the outro starts, I'm going to continue the music. The last part is the outro. Let's place the video of the house here again. Find the part where the bird is gone, and select freeze. Now, delete the rest and drag this to the end of the outro voiceover. Let's shorten the background music. And for the outro, I'm not going to use a zoom in, but a zoom out effect. So, go to the start of the clip, scale the video, and add a keyframe. Now, go to the end of the clip and scale the video to its original size and add another keyframe. Now, copy and paste the dad and son show text from the intro and place it at the right time in the timeline. And we are done. Welcome back to the dad and son show. In this episode, Ethan, the son, and his dad, Gary, are cleaning the garage. While cleaning they find an old lantern, Ethan rubs the dust off and a genie appears. The genie grants them three wishes, but oh boy, are they in for a treat. Wow, Dad! Look, a genie, and he is giving us three wishes. Son, these wishes are very precious. We have to think really careful before we make it. Give a. me a hedgehog. Hooray! Ethan, what have you done? Fuck this hedgehog. The Dad and Sun Show. See you next time. There has gone a lot of effort in making this video, so I would highly appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribed. And let me know if you want more videos on these kinds of topics in the comments section. Until next time. No hedgehogs were harmed in the making of this video.